Uh, Nick Osek here from the Toronto region playing uh, OCS. Shout out to 401 and ANC locals. Uh, playing a reflect deck. Uh, ruler is pretty self explanatory, so just get into the deck. Start with the stones, because that is important. Only little red. Also, player self explanatory, goes into like every deck. Two mana confluence type stones, tap for any color for life. That's relevant, I'll explain why later. Black red stones, that's the main two colors of the deck. And then for Ruler's Memoria, that taps for any color, if I have a regalia. That's the reason why we started with uh, the stone deck, because the main deck, because of this card, needs to maintain a certain uh, regalia density, so that you consistently draw one on turn one. Play four Change the World, which is the main regalia. Play two Leviathan. Uh, even though the ruler itself, the J ruler rather, has no stats and does no damage, it gives it swiftness, which is very relevant because it lets you search on the turn you flip, and it lets you flip and use its other abilities, such as being able to cancel uh, spells. Uh, the second effect, you can remove a counter to cancel spells on your turn, so that you, you can stop your opponent from countering your creatures and all that other stuff, all oh, resonators. Uh, one death scythe because it's discard fodder for Guinevere, and uh, just necessary against a lot of matchups. And Horn for the mirror match and Yamada combo primarily. So, the Galias going to one drop. So, one Barrier Shadows. Uh, Valentina 2.0 is the worst matchup, so I have space in the main deck, so I main one. Three Thunder. Four is too cloggy. The card isn't useful. Typically, just goes face. It's it's the reach. This is the reach of the deck. It's like, oh, you're at ten. Let me go search double thunder and kill you. <laughs> um, four Gwyns, four eggs, and four Sputins. These are the one drops on the deck. This is the main engine. This is like what keeps the deck flowing. Uh, most people know what these cards do. Well, let's go over it. When this card goes from field to grave, search a red a resonator. When this card goes to grave, you can pay 200 out of back to hand. And this has two effects. The first one is tap it, sack a resonator as cost, so they can't even kill the resonator in response. Uh, draw two discard one. And her other effect is less, le less relevant, but uh, comes in handy in the most random situations. Pay red, tap it, give a resonator plus four plus four, and it dies whenever it deals damage. It's like additional reach in random situations. This is like comes in awkwardly handy. Uh, then these are the th three cards which run, which are the deck. Uh, so, Necromancy of the Undead Lord. If it's in the graveyard, it has a trigger that whenever I play a Resonator, I can just attach it from Grave for free. And it just gives plus two, plus two. And then, a Lancelot, just like everybody's favorite balanced lightsaber man. <laughs> uh, everybody knows this card, I'm not even gonna go into it. Like, these guys like each other. These two cards, they like really like each other. Because this gives it plus two, plus two, then you reflect, pump, oh, I'm a 10, 10, burn your creature, bye. Wow. Um, and this is the best two drop in the game. You think Lancel is the best two drop? No, he's a turn three play. No, this is the best two drop in the game. Uh, rather than paying four mana for it, you can incarnate a, so you can sacrifice a black, or a red, or a, and a red, or a black, to play it instead. So, uh, if your field looks like this, you sack him, play it, add this back to hand, search like a Guinevere for this, you know, wow. you're having a good turn. Uh, show that play again if you don't mind. Sorry? Yeah, if you could show that play again if you don't yeah, mind. Well, I'll, so. I'll go over the uh, dual term uh, uh, plays after like oh, this okay, perfect, perfect. specific segment. But, yeah. And then on play, uh, you can target a player, you can even target yourself. Like if your opponent has no cards in hand and you have spares of these in your hand, you target yourself this card. But what it does is it targets a player, uh, I look at their hand and then discard a card from it. Wow. Uh, so the ideal play would be like turn one Guinevere. Well, turn one you go like change the world, tap for this stone, play a Guinevere. Turn two you untap, you play a Rasputin, you sack their Rasputin, add it to hand, draw two, discard Necromancy, you replay their Rasputin, sack them both, add their Rasputin back to hand, play this. Wow. Rip a card. Next turn you go. Oh, that was turn two, so you have two stones to play. Yeah. Next turn you go tap for stone. Play Lancelot, equip, pump, kill, kill whatever resonator they have in play, deal them 10, deal them 8, and like play a random one drop. Wow. <laughs>
I mean, that's ideal scenario, but that, that happens more often than not. So how's your, how are you doing today? I am training? currently 2-1-1. 2-1-1-1. No, 2-1-1. 2-1-1. 2-0-1. 2-0-1. Yeah. 2-0-1. So I, I drew one round, which I got mad. I was going to win that game, but we went to the time. And then the other cards in the deck is uh, another one of Dream of Juliet. Um, is the only addition removal main deck. Um, it's necessary, but the reason why I choose this over other cards is because it has two other modes on it. Uh, I can either kill an addition, flicker a resonator, so like I can s play Lancelot, swing, they like won't kill it or something. I go like instant speed, flash my Lancelot, it removes a resonator from the game, and then instantly puts it back in. So Lancelot leaves, re enters, I reattach the Necromancy. <laughs> Because it's all triggers. Oh my god. And then swing again. Because uh, it haste, right? Yeah. And then its other effect is you can just cycle it for a card. You can just like play a draw card. Wow. <laughs> it's like never a dead card. Um, this is there again. Like, remember the turn one, uh, Guinevere, turn two, Narotep, turn three, yeah. Lancelot into egg play? Yeah. So the next turn, you could be like play down the Rasputin that's still in your hand. Um, sack the egg in the Rasputin for another Nyarotep, search a Guinevere or another egg for the egg, yeah. play it, they cost you two mana, and then play this. <laughs> this guy, this is a five drop, but it's really a three drop, because it costs two colorless less for each <laughs> resonator that entered the field this turn that you control. Oh. So you Nyarotep, you play the Gwyn or the egg, and then you play this guy, and I'll sub him like, a 12-12 player. Basically, if your turns... If your, yeah. If your turns actually go Gwyn, Nyarotep, Lancelot, Swing, Burn, all that shit, yeah. uh, and then like you Nyarotep or like Haster them the turn after, and like Swing and Burn all and all that, and then play this, uh, there's no coming back in the game, because you have a 12-12 flyer, you have this, you have a, or this or a second Nyarotep, you have a Nyarotep, you have a Gwyn, and you have a Lancelot that's been burning their creatures and hitting them in the face for 10. They're probably at like around 2k life, with no field, and you ripped one card from their hand or two in the case of uh, Nyarotep. Oh yeah, and this is the other card. I play two of this because even though it's a good card, it's very weak, uh, just like body-wise. Uh, incarnate for any combination of two red or black resonators. So once again, a two drop. Uh, on play, kill a non-added resonator. So, non-added means if I control this card, and my opponent plays this, this is not a valid target because it has an addition. So, the popular play to counter Haster is to have Leviathan, and let's say they have like an egg in play or Lancelot in play. So, when this is on the chase, before it resolves, they sack their Lancelot, so when this enters play, it has to target itself because you have to target a creature. Makes sense. As, uh, it's mandatory effect. So what you do is, you stack, you stack triggers, you target himself, equip Necromancy, no longer valid target, effect fizzle. They still went minus one. How often do you get that playoff? More often than I expect. <laughs> oh, yeah. I sideboard two more of these because they're just necessary against like six sages and mono red aggro. Because this is effectively a one mana interaction card. Because uh, if you leave off, like rather than turn three Lancelot, it lets you go turn three play one drop. Uh, sack one drop in Guinevere for Haster, kill something, play Rogue in this, from the side deck. And Rogue, and, and like, once you have a Narotep, Haster, and Rogue, it's like the game's over, they can't hurt you. They can't hurt you. But yeah. And then this is the reason why we're playing them. The side deck is the reason why we're playing the Mana Confluence Stone and cut ourselves. Um, oh, that would make sense. Uh, so, because we main one and main one of these, we sideboard one more of each. More consistency. It's, 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 it's for the different matches. So, like yeah. more against more of these against Valentina, more of these against like Mirror Match and uh, uh, what's it called? Uh, against Mirror Match and uh, Yamada combo decks. Yeah. Uh, for those that don't know what this does, is you can sack it to sh target player shuffles his graveyard into his deck. So, like on Necromancy triggers, on reanimation spell triggers, it's just like no. Get out. Um, play two Bowman because this is the most efficient addition removal spell in the uh, card in the game. You just like tap it to kill an addition, any addition, at any point. And just like tap it. It costs one green. Super relevant. You play one more Barrier Shadows because Valentina's a bitch. Uh, play two Cinderellas because Cheshire Cat's a bitch. And field wiping a bunch of tutus 
in the case of like fairies <laughs> or Alice World combo or stuff like that. It's just like it's very efficient. Does this card lets you sack your Asputins to deal 200 damage to the entire field? Yeah. Like, bye. How, how's your matchup against the, uh, the Alice World combo? I drew with it because uh, he he had branch in hand and Yara tapped it. He drew into another one like two turns later, and then. He kept like stalling, and I was sitting on two of these, so I kept cutting myself for damage. And then basically, I was going to win in like two or three turns, but we went into turns because he was yeah. playing slowly. And uh, the worst feeling. And yeah, he he won because I was at 700. He was at 13. Like one hit from any of my creatures, he would have died. Yeah. But he kept tapping them down with a sideboard card. So. Oh my god. Uh, yeah. And uh, sideboard three heroes because. She's just a straight plus two. Uh, on play, killer regalia. If it's a zero cost regalia, draw it. No, why not? Why not four? Um, I'm not blue. Okay. I'm, I'm not. It's just like I can't. <laughs> I can't use it to incarnate any of my cards. Gotcha. And um, she's only better than like a Haster. Yeah. If I can equip a necromancy to it. Okay. So she's not like. She's good against decks that also rely on uh, discard to run because then shuts off their deck. Like if they hit this off the top, it comes in tap, they just wasted half their turn. It's punishing there. But like I side an Emblem Brawly just because I'm putting these in so that I can actually like incarnate them for additional value. But yeah, it's mainly for six sages because six sages uh, rely like my creatures get better value than six sages because I just straight up kill things. They like prevent damage, counter, get counters, and do things. It's it's a lot more gimmicky, but like it works well. Um, but mine are just like straight up value. I play this, I kill them. I play this, I rip a card from your hand. I, I lance a lot, swings, burns that for seven. You know. Um, <clears throat> But these, this specific card is a lot... Uh, the only reason why it gets value is because they need the orb to continuously draw cards. Gotcha. And it stops that. So it's, it's, it's good in that situation. That's the only matchup that this card is relevant in though. Like any, any matchup that's orb heavy. It's only relevant against orb. Every other, like any other deck that runs a lot of regalia. Like you don't even want to kill the other regalia. <laughs> they're, they're irrelevant. Because Death Scythe, you can add it back from Grave by removing three cards. Like, Leviathan is nice to kill, but it's whatever. But yeah, this card is, uh, I, I play Abram Brawley because I side in Harrow's. He has five enter abilities, depending on which color of cards you sacked to play him. Uh, gain 400, deal 400, uh, draw a card for blue, get any color of mana for green, and then uh, your opponent loses 400 for, like, it's not a good card. Uh, the every single one of these effects is nowhere near as impactful as it could have been. Yeah. Uh, like bec especially since the other incarnate cards get their enters even if I just hard cast them. He doesn't. He has nothing if you just hard. He's just a six eight. So he only he only gets effects if you incarnate for him, which in my opinion they could have made the effects a lot better. But he's just there because otherwise Hera is just like, oh she's a five five cool. It's not very useful. Uh, but he ma he makes it more than just a shitty five five body. And then we play two more Hasters for the Mono Red matchups and the all that stuff, and two Robes for the Mono Red matchups. It's like fairly self expansion. Awesome, awesome. Thank you again very much for the deck profile. You still got another round to go? Yeah. Awesome. yeah. The deck is, in my opinion, very good. You just hard yeah. you just go hard plus one and wall off the aggro decks. Yeah. Yeah, it was like, it's, it's super value, basically. Awesome, and, and, awesome. Then, and then when you need to put in damage, you're just like, oh, search Lancelot, <laughs> Necromancy. <laughs> and I noticed the rarity is on there. Oh, yeah. It's... Putting in some work? <laughs> yeah. yeah. What are you missing? I'm missing the Heras being stamped. Yeah. Are you guys listening to that? You got <laughs> it. Send it in way, okay? All right, thank yeah. you very much for the uh, deck profile. All the best, okay? Thank you. Thank you.